We're living in difficult times and many people are sort of pessimistic. The truth is that Judaism at its core is a very optimistic way of thinking. We see the world spiraling up, not down. When we look at the cumulative effect of all of the progress that was made, both in medicine, mitigating hunger, um, and also the fact that war is something that uh, people despise and it's only used when it's necessary, tells us that the society at large is getting much, much better, is improving in great ways. Part of it is recognizing the sanctity of life, recognizing the soul as a part of God. That's why we go the extra mile in saving a life. We have innovated all kinds of medical techniques in how to extend life or improve the value of life. All of this goes to the very notion that we're reaching a better point, even though there are setbacks along the way. But the society and humanity as a whole is recognizing the greatness of the divine in the world and within humanity. How will that bring peace? Peace is a consciousness that comes along when people recognize a higher state of being. And they ask the question, why are we here? Recognizing that they're here for a higher purpose, a purpose that God entrusted us with. When we recognize that every human being is actually a mirror reflection of the divine presence in the higher worlds, we begin to see the sanctity, the holiness of every human being. That leads us to eradicate the evil desires that one has against another and to reconcile differences and to be able to celebrate the beauty that's within each and every one of us, which will lead to the ultimate peace with the coming of Mashiach Sakeno, with our righteous Mashiach. May it happen very quickly, especially in Israel.